Okay, we have a Dell model number Y-RBP-DEL4 wireless keyboard. And what I'm going to do here is disassemble it, take the back cover off. As you can see, you have a bunch of small Phillips screws. Get all those out. And the only key here is there's one more right in here that you have to punch through to get to, or you won't be able to get this apart. And then basically just pull apart around the edges, rub your finger around it, and, and the cover pops off. You can see here there's a membrane, these little, it's hard to focus on them, but if you push on these things, they pop out the other side. It's like a little dimple in there. So, you got your keyboard, and this thing just lays over top. And you just line up these uh, locations here. Little nubs there on on the plastic portion, all that lines up. And then you have this portion here. This is actually the uh, working part of the keyboard. It's actually two two membranes together, folded over. You can even see the well, not that part. But that's 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 just structural there. That when they fold it together. But yeah, you can see here, they actually have connection between the two halves. So you see all those dots. These dots, well when you push a key, it presses the two membranes together and makes a connection. So this guy, I believe, goes on like that. And you simply do the same thing. Now that may be backwards, so let me see. Yeah, that looks right. It lines up with those. And it all seems to line up nicely. And you just have to make sure that everything is right on top of each other exactly. Looking good here, looking good here. Okay, you do feel that pressure for where the buttons have to compress at each spot. You can feel it. And this guy here, check his out. Oh, that goes like that. There. Now, you know, I'm sorry I don't have the tear apart part of this, but it's really easy. It's just a whole bunch of little screws and back. You, what you got to remember though is that on the back of the base there's one screw under the label right here by the FE. You don't take that screw out, you're not getting this thing apart. All the rest of the screws are pretty obvious. Small Phillips. And then there's a uh, little plug here the battery that hooks into this guy right there. All right, so, you know, I'm holding the camera so it's a little difficult for me. What I'm gonna do here is, is just put this portion back together here. Put this back, you can see there's a couple of, one here and one here. For these little buttons here, that goes right on top of those holes. All right, and then you have this metal plate here. This guy is the backing for the pressure and it's got lots of screws and that just lays in there like that there's one spot here where the screw goes right there uh, right here through into the steel but that's the only thing that's the only thing a little different there this just simply sits right in here and, and they get these these little black screws here to hold this two on and these two black screws here 
hold this guy on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you see we have all these holes here. All these. All these little guys come in. All them screws. And uh, then I'll be back. Okay, there she is all buttoned up. You can see I put all these screws back in. Make sure they uh, are fully seated. You can feel some tension because you have that rubber mat under there and it pretty much has to squeeze it down. And then you have one screw here, one here, one here for this board. And over here you have two screws, one here, one here for this board. It's really simple. It just lays right back on like it's supposed to. And then I gotta have to put the um, back cover on with uh, all these little black screws that go in from the back. So basically, I have to reconnect this guy to here while I'm doing this. So let's see here. This will go like this. And this guy goes in here. Just make sure you put it in the right direction. You can figure it out if you look close. So, like I said, I can't do this holding the camera at the same time, so I'll plug it back in in a second here. There, there she is, plugged back in. And uh, the proper orientation, you'll see the, the copper or brass shiny um, connectors on the top of, uh, before you put it in. That's how you can tell if it's right. Plus the way it was bent, it automatically was bent the way it wanted to go in, the way this wire had been twisted. It, it, it would lay perfectly in like it wanted to go in the way it used to be in, just from time, I guess. Anyway, so that's that. Just close her up. Like so. And uh, I'll snap this cover back on and install all these screws. And we'll